And the tents and the homeless are gone from this encampment, but the scarring from the encampment, and I'll tell you, the smell from the encampment is still here. Mike, you'll get you right into it, right across the street. These girls were over there riding scooters. What, the rats? You're scared of the rats? You see them? Yeah, there's very large rats running along that sidewalk where the homeless encampment was. The walls covered with all the graffiti on the far side. There's uh, the black soot from a, a rubbish fire they had here a couple of weeks ago. You see those big pots down there? City put them down. They're very heavy in hopes that it would keep the homeless from moving back in, but for how long? Watch. Coming back already, this woman moving into the very same spot just hours after the city cleaned out a large homeless encampment here in Hollywood, leaving some to call it a vicious circle. They move them a lot, but they come back. You know, they like moving, they'll be clear for like a week, and then all, the, all of them come back. It used to happen down on that street over there, yeah. I think on Selma it's called. Um, that used to get pretty bad. The city moved in with its cleanup crews and its heavy equipment to move out the tents and the trash and some 30 homeless people all will be placed in hotels as part of the city's inside safe program, bringing an end to a large and sometimes dangerous encampment here at Hollywood and El Centro. A troubled encampment with its public drinking, its tents and the homeless spread out all across the sidewalk. And just last month, this very same encampment on fire, a rubbish fire here. No wonder some of the neighbors say enough already. It will get to the point where it would extend out into the street. You can walk around here. You can get by. Then you get harassed by them. You know, the fact that they're just hanging out. A disruptive force here in the heart of busy Hollywood. And it's not just the neighbors, you know, but businesses like nearby Amoeba Music that's felt the effects of the encampment and its safety concerns. People that are just, that are in need of help, uh, mentally unfit, unstable, and, you know, that acts out. And they're going to act out where people can, you know, kind of be there to see it and you know and uh, it does have an impact on our business it has an impact um, on people's experience of Hollywood now I the girls moving their scooters out of there the one just said that she was freaked out by those big rats running along the sidewalk one other point to all of this the timing of all of this the neighbors some of them questioning it right around the corner the Fonda theater big event there tomorrow night a glad event it's a fundraiser Paris Hill expected to attend so the neighbors are saying why now did the city finally move in because with a capacity crowd expected tomorrow night it would bend around the corner the folks would be lined up right into what would have been the homeless encampment so is it a coincidence it happened the day before all of this I don't know. What do you think? For now, we're live here in Hollywood. Back to West L.A. we go. It's a problem in so many places, Ed. All right, thank you.